Hey, today I'm going to show you a brand new vital equipment glitch, which is going to make your life way easier when you're doing this glitch. I know a lot of you have been stressed out trying to find this item out there in the wild in public games. The best part about this glitch now is you no longer have to go into a public game to find the item. You can actually get this item to spawn down whenever you want, and I'm going to show you how to do this within this video. This is after the August 3rd patch, so you're definitely going to be able to do this. You want to go to Foundation and talk to Ward and get that vital equipment quest. Then from there, you're going to want to find the location where this raider or wherever the enemy is at. And this is the important step right here. We know that at this location that there's two spots that the item can drop at. And you want to make sure that you know that location. And I'll tell you why here shortly. But what you want to do is go to the raider or again, whichever enemy it is that you have to track down. You'll want to take out that enemy. Yes, this step is completely true. You just want to take him out. I know before we didn't even need to do this, but you just want to take him out. And then from here, do not grab that multi-scope or whatever item it is. Absolutely do not grab it. What you want to do is you actually want to pause the game and you want to just change to a different server. It doesn't matter if it, it if you are in a public game, you want to make sure that you join back into the same public game. But if it's a private server, just join back to your same private server. So we're going to go back to the private world after we have just taken out that enemy, the raider that had the multiscope. Because remember, that is the big, big, big part about this is you do not want to grab that multiscope or the key item because that will ruin the glitch. Now that we have spawned back at the location where we originally chose to spawn at, we want to then make our way back to the same exact location. Now we do know that at this spot that the item will spawn right here. Just like the previous locations, you'll know where they spawn because they spawn in the exact same location once you take out the raider and you leave the server and you join back to the same exact one. It'll pop right there. This is just like other spots and I'll show you this towards the end on what I mean by this just to kind of give you guys a better idea, explain it a little bit better for those that uh, need the extra, the extra guidance here. But Pretty much, once you get that item, just go back to your stash box. The Bubba stash box. Go back to your stash box, and then you want to stash that item and make sure that you leave the server and join back, so that way you get that quest item to pop up. If you're completely new to the glitch on how to do the unlimited reputation, then feel free to click the suggestion box up at top right there. It'll say click here. You'll click that, and it'll take you directly to the updated vital equipment quest glitch. I can't even talk today, guys. I don't know what's going on, but you just want to check out that video if you're new to the whole idea of glitching. So let's explain more about the glitch itself. So if you know about this location where the item spawns right about here, well, let's say that the raider or whatever enemy it is spawns right there. You'll take that enemy out. You'll pause the game just like we did before. And then you'll join back to the same exact server. You'll look in the location. For example, this is Willard's. From previous videos, we do know that this spawns exactly right there at this location. And then you'll just pick that up once it spawns. This is the same for other spots as well. If you know the exact location where the item drops, then you will be completely good to go. Otherwise, if you do not know where this item is, you're going to have to look around that location. There's only five locations I know of personally where these specifically drop at. So when I take out that enemy, I know exactly where to run to to pick up that item once I hop servers and join back to the same exact one. But this will make your lives way easier. You're going to be able to do the glitch way, way faster now. You don't even have to, you know, constantly go through 50 server hops to find this item. You'll be able to find it pretty dang quick just by following my steps. And that is it for me. Hopefully you found this video helpful in some way. If you have, feel free by clicking that subscribe button. I normally don't even mention it. And if you click the notification bell down below and click notifications for all, you'll get notified every time I put a video out. But this is the end of the video. Have a great one. Take care of yourselves. And as always, live well and happy glitching. See you guys on the next one. Peace. I'm sorry to hear that. I wish there'd been another way. That multiscope is critical for our biohazard research. Well done. <laughs> if we can get the flock big enough.